Okay, so the uh, probably the hardest exam that uh, Year 12 is going to be doing this year is the C2 exam. And so we've got three days left, so let's really get some decent revision done. The next uh, video I'm going to do is all about logs and exponentials. And uh, this question here, which is the 2016 question 8, um, this is pretty much a standard one of these questions. So what we're going to have a look at is how, or how logs work. So if we have a look at this one, we've got um, log of this, take away log of this. Now one of the log laws is if you have a log, take away a log, means that we can rearrange it and divide them. So log to the base 3 of this, take away log to the base 3 of this, means log to the base 3 of 3b plus 1 over a minus 2. A equals minus 1. Now the reason that we can do that is because they don't have anything in front of them. And so, for instance, if this one said 2 log this, um, 2 log to the base 3 of 3b plus 1 minus this thing here, we couldn't do the same thing because it's not a log take away a log. We've got two logs. So what we need to do is we need to deal with um, this number. So it's log take away a log. And in that case, what we do is we'd get rid of that 2 and bring it up to the top here. Um, so we can only use the log laws if it's a log take away a log or a log plus a log. And hopefully we'll see that in another question. Well, the next thing we need to do is we need to know what logs actually are. So the whole thing with logs is that the base, the power of the answer, equals this thing here, or the subject. So what we can say is that 3 to the power of minus 1 equals 3b plus 1 over a minus 2. Now 3 to the power of minus 1, it's not minus 3. Remember, 3 to the power of minus 1 is 1 over... 3 to the power of 1. With negative powers, we just stick it underneath and make it positive. So 1 over 3 to the power of 1 is just 1 third. So we could say that 1 over 3 equals 3b plus 1 over a minus 2. Now if we have a look at what the question asks, it says express b in terms of a, so that means we want b equals. So relatively straightforward from here, what we're going to do is we're going to times the a minus 2 up to this side, and times the 3 up to this side. If we do that, 1 lot of a minus 2, which is going to be a minus 2. And that's going to be 3 lots of 3b plus 1. So we multiply out the brackets, get everything onto the left-hand side, apart from the b's, and then divide through. So we've got a minus 2 equals 9b plus 3. So we take away the 3. a minus 5 equals 9b. So b equals a minus 5 over 9. And I mean, there are other ways of doing these questions, but I think the way I do them is probably the most straightforward. However, um, don't, if you've been taught another way and you're happy with that way, feel free to go about it in that fashion. Okay, the next one. The next one is a very, very common one, but just like in a C1 exam where people struggled with the powers, this is exactly the same. So what we've got here is we've got 2 to the power of 2x plus 5 minus 7 lots of 2x equals, sorry, 7 lots of 2 to the power of x equals 0. Now, the reason that we can't do anything with this one at the moment is because we haven't got the same power thing. We haven't got 2 to the power of x. We've got 2 to the power of something completely different. So what we've got to do is we've got to know how to deal with 2 to the power of 2x plus 5. So just like if we add x to the power of 3 times by x to the power of 4, what we do then is we add the powers. That would be x to the power of 3 plus 4 or x to the power of 7. So if we've got 2 to the power of 2x plus 5, we can split that, to so that's 2 to the power of 2x times 2 to the power of 5. Just like here, we can split the 3 to this one and the 7 to this one, just make sure that we multiply them. So it's just, uh, it's worthwhile sort of going over this bit of the video a couple of times, because unless you can do this bit, the rest of the question you're not going to get any marks from. So we've got 2 to the power of 2x times by 2 to the power of 5. And our 2 to the power of 5 is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. 2 to the power of 2x, and we could say that 2 to the power of 2x is the same as 2 to the power of x squared. And again, if you've seen that for the first time now, then hopefully that should start sinking. But if you've seen it a few times, that should become really natural, because most of the questions are set up like this. So 2 to the power of 2x is 2 to the power of x squared. And the reason that we can do that, if we go back to GCSE, if we add x to the power of 4 to the power of 5, we simply multiply the powers. So that's going to be x to the power of 20. So if we've got 2 to the power of 2x, 
That's the same as saying 2 to the power of x squared, because if we multiply these two, we're going to get 2x. So basically what we have here, if we replace everything here, or if we rearrange this, we've got, or rewrite it even, 32 times 2 to the power of x squared minus 7 lots of 2 to the power of x equals 0. So now what we can do, I mean, it's up to you, you can sort of replace 2 to the power of x with a letter. Um, however, if without having to do that, we can just take, or we, we can factorise out this 2 to the power of x. And if we do that, that's going to be 2 to the power of x outside the brackets. What do we need to multiply 2 to the power of x by to get this whole thing here? We're going to need to multiply it by 32 times 2 to the power of x. And then minus 7 equals 0. So then what we need to do is we need to solve it. So we can either solve 2 to the power of x equals 0. Or we can solve 32 times 2 to the power of x minus 7 equals 0. Now one of the laws for 2 to the power of x is that that can never equal 0. 2 to the power of x, the graph looks like that there. Anything to the power of x looks like this graph here. It goes through at 1, um, but that keeps going like this, but the x-axis is an asymptote, so it's never actually going to hit the x-axis. So therefore, what we're saying, long and short of that, is there's no solutions to 2 to the power of x equals 0. But we can solve this. So if we do 32 times by 2 to the power of x minus 7 equals 0, if we get the 7 on the other side, we can say that equals 7. To move this over to this side. And if we divide by uh, 32, we've got 2 to the power of x equals 7 over 32. Now, the way we solve it, if the thing that we're looking for is a power, is we take logs of both sides. So we're going to do log 2 to the power of x equals log 7 over 32. And I'm going to bring this x down, so that's going to be x log 2 equals log 7 over 32. I'm just going to take some time a second. This log here could be log to the base 10, or it could be log to the base anything, to be honest. But the log button on your calculator, the one that says log, is log to the base 10. But I don't think they're going to penalise you if you haven't put log to the base 10 there. So x equals log to the base 10 of 7 over 32, divided by log to the base 10 of 2. And if we do that, we get... I'm going to pause the video and do it. And doing so gives us uh, minus 2.19. It asks us to two decimal places. So minus 2.19. And that's how you do that log question. Again, it's not too awful, especially because it's a question 8. And if you've seen it a few times, you're not going to ask too much that's different. So let's have a look at the 2015 paper and see what this one is like. Um, okay, again, question seven. So it's quite late on, and so the question should be getting a little bit harder. But the first three marks are pretty much a giveaway here. So 8 to the power of 2x plus 1 equals 24. And there's a couple of ways in which we can do this. Just like in the last video, we could say that that's going to be 8 to the power of 2x times by 8 to the power of 1 equals 24, and we can do it that way. However, um, I think it's equally as easy to just take logs of both sides. So if we do log of 8 to the power of 2x plus 1 equals log of 24. Remember, you've got to take logs of both sides. Can I just take logs of one side? Um, and whenever I say log, remember, I mean log to the base 10. And then what I can do, one of the log laws means that you can bring this power down and just move it to the front there. So I've got 2x plus 1 log 8 equals log 24. You don't need to do anything to the other side because remember this is just exactly the same as this. So now what we can do um, is we can divide it through by log 8. So we've got 2x plus 1 equals log 24 divided by log 8. And if we just subtract the 1 divided by 2, we've got x equals log 24 over log 8 minus 1, all divided by 2. Again, I'm going to pause the video so I can quickly work that out. And 
and doing so gives us 0 0.2264. Um, so just if we go through the other way as well, just to show that we get the same answer, if we'd have taken this one here, we could have divided both sides by 8. So that would have been 8 to the power of 2x equals 3. If we take logs of both sides, it's going to be log of 8 to the power of 2x equals log of 3. Bring the 2x down. So we've got 2x log 8 equals log 3. If we divide through by log 8, we're going to get 2x equals log 3 divided by log 8. And then we need to divide by 2. Log 3 over log 8, all divided by 2. And if you do that, you also get 0 0.264. So again, there's a couple ways to do that. Uh, there's probably even more ways than that, but I think these are the most straightforward ones. Okay, let's have a look at part two then. Um, and we've got a log, take away log, take away two logs equals one. Now, <clears throat> as I said earlier, we can do log, take away log, that's not a problem at all, but we can't do it with this one because there's a two there. So we've got to deal with that two first of all. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up and make that y squared. Now, it's easy for me because I can just scribble it out on the screen. However, you need to write this line out again and make sure you've got it as log y squared. So then we're going to do log of this, take away log of this. So if we did that, that's going to be log to the base 2 of 11y minus 3 divided by 3. And then we've got this minus log to the base 2 of y squared. And now we've got another log there, so and all that equals 1. So then because we've got a log take away another log, this goes underneath as well, or the y squared, sorry, goes underneath. So it's going to be log to the base 2, 11y minus 3, over 3y squared, equals 1. Again, going back to the previous question, the 2016 question, um, with the first one, when we had log to the base 3 of 3b plus 1 over a minus 2 equals minus 1. We then said that this to the power of this equal to this. So exactly the same question here. We're going to say that this to the power of this equals this. It's the base to the power of the answer equals the subject. So it's going to be 2 to the power of 1 equals 11y minus 3 over 3y squared. Now 2 to the power of 1 is simply 2. And then we're going to bring this up. So that's going to be 6y squared equals 11y minus 3. And then we've got to one of these questions now, which, which takes us back to GCSE. It's just solving a slightly complex quadratic. So if we bring everything over to the left-hand side, it's going to be 6y squared minus 11y plus 3 equals 0. And then we think about how we can factorize that. And then if we spot it, we've got 3y and 2y. And then we've got 3 times a 3y to make 11. We've got, oh, we've got a 1 times the 2y to make 2y. And we're going to need to make both of those negative. So now we've got uh, 3y minus 1 equals 0. So that's going to be y equals 1 third for that bracket. We've got 2y minus 3 equals 0. Again, just doing this just so that we don't make any mistakes. 2y equals 3. y equals 3 over 2. And, and that's it. We've got our two solutions. Let's have a look at this one. Again, if we notice, this is a question 8, so it's quite late on. And we've got to sketch this one, so 3 to the power of x. Show the coordinates of any points where it crosses the axes. So as we said earlier, anything to the power of x is not going to cross the x-axis because it's going to be a, um, an asymptote. If it does cross the y-axis. Now, if you think about where it crosses the y-axis, when any graph crosses the y-axis, our y value, so our x value is zero. So it's going to be it's going to be zero something. Now, if we substitute in our x value of zero, three to the power of zero is going to be one. It's going to be zero one. And then anything the graph of anything to the power of x looks like this graph here. If it was um, if it was a negative, so if it was 3 to the power of minus x, that's exactly the same, but just reflected in the y-axis like that. 
or if it was um, 3 to the power of 1 over x. So again, that would look like this one here. But any, anyway, 3 to the power of x, this question looks like our red one here. So again, have a look at question B. It's looking very similar. We've already talked about this. So we've got 3 to the power of 2x. We already have said that's the same as 3 to the power of x squared. Then minus 9 lots of 3 to the power of x plus 18 equals 0. So it's a quadratic because we've got something squared, 9 lots of something, plus 18 equals 0. So if we can factorise that, that's going to be 3 instead of like the x, it's going to be 3 to the power of x in the front of both the brackets. Then minus 3, minus 6. And yep, that works. So then we've got our two solutions. 3 to the power of x equals 3. And also 3 to the power of x equals 6. That's not, that's not what we're after. It says use algebra to solve this equation. We haven't solved it. We've got what 3 to the power of x equals, but we don't know what x equals. So we have a look at the first one here. Um, 3 to the power of something is 3. Well, we know that anything to the power of 1 is just itself. So here, x equals 1. Um, if you couldn't spot that, you can use the same method as the one we're going to use for this one now, and you still get x equals 1. So we've got 3 to the power of x equals 6, and what we've got to find is the power. And just like previously, if we've got to find x being the power, then we're going to take logs of both sides. So log to the power of, or log of 3 to the power of x equals log of 6. Using log laws, we're going to bring that x down to the front. So x log 3 equals log 6. Then we're going to divide by the logs. So we've got x equals log 6 over log 3. And then we just do that in the calculator. Log 6 divided by log 3. And what I would suggest, just that you don't make a mistake, is when you put log 6 into the calculator, make sure that you put the closing brackets on it before you do the divided by, or just to make triply sure, do log 6 and then press equals and then that will give you whatever the uh, whatever the decimal is and then whatever your answer is divide that by log 3 and that way you know you're not going to make any mistakes and so here you've got x equals and it asks for two decimal places 1.63 and hopefully that should be you guys set up for the um, this sort of question so the exponentials and logs Anyway, good luck, and please watch the other ones as well. Hopefully, there should have been sort of things flashing up here with suggested other videos, and they're all my other revision videos. So if you want to click on any of those, that'd be absolutely super. <laughs> good luck.